the story of the golden fish. There is an old Russian tale that tells of an old man and his good wife who for 33 summers and 33 winters lived in a tumble-down old house on the shore of the deep blue ocean. The old man was a fisherman and his wife spun yarn on her distaff. Once upon a time, the fisherman cast his net into the ocean, only to pull out a large clump of mud from the bottom. Not giving up, he cast his net into the ocean and this time caught nothing but blocks of seaweed. However, when he cast his net into the water for the third time, one fish was already landed. This was no common fish, but a golden fish. Now, the golden fish began to implore him. Put me back into the ocean, old man, and I shall pay you a royal ransom, and I will give you whatever you ask of me. The old man was astonished and frightened. He had been fishing for 33 summers, and never had he heard a fish speak. So, with care, he untangled the golden fish and tenderly said, my dear little goldfish, thank you kindly. I don't want your ransom. Go back to your home in the ocean and roam where you will without hindrance. To his wife, the old fisherman hastened to tell her about this great marvel. I caught only one fish this morning. A golden fish it was, most uncommon. It spoke like a man and begged me to put it back in the ocean and promised to pay a rich ransom to give me whatever I asked for. But I couldn't ask for a ransom, so I released it without any pain. His wife grew furious and started scolding her husband. Oh, you great buffoon! What a simpleton I have married! Couldn't make a mere fish pay a ransom. You at least might have asked for a washed up, for ours is falling all to pieces. At that, the old man hurried to the seashore. He called out aloud for the golden fish, and the old fish swam up and demanded, what is it, old man, you are wanting? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty, goldfish. My wife has scolded me and won't leave me alone for one minute. She said that she wants a new washtub, for ours is all falling to pieces. The goldfish murmured and answered, Do not worry. Go home and have safe travels. To his wife, the old fisherman hastened, and behold, there it was, the new washtub, which he scolded him louder than ever. Oh, you simpleton! You great buffoon! To ask for a tub, a mere washtub? What good can you get from a washtub? Return to the goldfish, Bow down low and ask for a cottage. Again, he went back to the seashore, and this time the blue sea was troubled. He called out aloud the golden fish, and the fish in turn swam up and demanded, What is it you wanted, old man? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty, goldfish, again. My wife is angrier than ever and won't leave me alone for one minute, the old hag. Said that she wants a new cottage. The golden fish murmured in answer. Go home. Safe travels. So be it. You shall have a new cottage. So back the old man turned, and not a sign did he see of an old tumble-down shop. No, 
Instead, in its place stood a new gabled cottage with a chimney of brick, newly whitewashed, surrounded by a fence with oak gates. And there, by a window sat his wife, who when she saw him, she scolded him yet again. Oh, you simpleton, you great buck fool, to ask for no more than a cottage. Go and bow to that gold fish and tell it that I am tired of being a peasant, that I want to be made a fine lady. The old obedient man returned to the seashore where the ocean was restless. He called out aloud for the golden fish, and it swam up and demanded, What is it that you are wanting, old man? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty, golden fish. My life is madder than ever. She gives me no rest whatsoever. Says she's tired of being a peasant, and she wants to be a fine lady. The golden fish murmured in answer, Do not worry. Go home and the safe travels. To his wife, the old fisherman hastened. And what did he see? A tall, exquisite mansion. And stood on its white marbled stairs was his wife, wearing a rich golden sable jacket and a jeweled headdress. Her neck was heavy laden with pearls. She wore golden rings on her fingers. All around the wife, fervent servants bowed meekly before her. The old man then approached his wife, saying, Greetings, your ladyship. Greetings, fine lady. Now I do hope that your soul is contented. She angry bade him be silent and sent him to serve in the stables. The weeks slowly passed, then another. The old woman grew prouder than ever. One morning she sent for her husband. Husband, bow to the golden fish and tell it that I am tired of being a lady and I want to be made in Santista. Her husband implored her in terror, saying, Woman, you've surely gone crazy. You can't even talk like a lady. You'll be mocked all over the kingdom. The old woman grew madder than ever and shouted in passion, fisherman hastened, and what did he see? A grand palace in its place. He saw a grand table, and there sat his wife in the Sedesta, attended by nobles and bullets, who were pouring wines in her goblet. All around her, grim guards stood in silence. The old man was aghast when he saw this. He bowed to her feet and said humbly, Greetings, almighty in Sedesta. Now I hope that your soul is contented. 
but she gave not a glance at her husband. She ordered him thrust from her presence. The valets and nobles all hastened and drove him with blows from the chambers. The guards at the door waved their hard boards and threatened harm. All the people derided him, saying, Sir, if you are right now, you ill bred old fellow, this will teach you a lesson to keep your station in the future. A week slowly passed, then another. The old woman grew prouder than ever. One morning she sent for her husband, and her chamberlain hailed him before her. The old woman spoke thus to her husband. Go and bow to that golden fish, and tell it that I am tired of being in Sedista. Of the seas I want to be mistress, with my home in the midst of the blue ocean waters, and the golden fish I want as my servant to obey my every command and carry out my every errand. The old man does not contradict her, nor open his lips to make answer. He sadly set out for the seashore. Tempest raged over the ocean, its waters would be swollen and angry, its billows were boiling and filled. And he called out aloud for the golden fish, and it swam up and it What is it you are wanting, old man? With a bow, the old man said in answer, Forgive me, your majesty, golden fish. What should I do? with my cursed old woman. She is tired of being in service. Of the seas she now wants to be mistress. With her home in the blue ocean waters, she wants you to be her own servant, to do her commands and her errands. Not a word spoke the golden fish. It just swished its tail and in silence disappeared in the depths of the ocean. The fishermen waited in vain for an answer, and at last turned his steps to the palace. And behold, there again stood his tumble-down hull. On the doorstep sat his wife, with the same broken wash before her. Thank you. 